just <laughs> I just pressed it and went straight. Yeah. Are we there? We're there. Oh, okay. Live cool. though, already live? No, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, what's up, you guys? This is this is Kenyo and Jamie at Sheba Dental. And uh, this is actually attempt number two at this wellness live stream that we're doing out here because the first one messed up. That's technology for you, but don't let that hold you back. Live streaming on Facebook is amazing. Mm -hmm. But um, we're here today to talk about wellness. That's a different idea than most people think about. Um, but we want to think about what that really means, wellness. Um, most people, they don't really go to the hospital or um, doctors unless they're feeling something bad. Mm -hmm. We know that a lot because we're here at Sheba Dental uh, in, in the dental office. And um, here, I've worked with Sheba Dental for a long time. You see it all the time. You know, people come in with a toothache because they weren't doing preventative treatment for a very long time. And um, that's not really a good way to live. And that's definitely why I wanted to bring Janie Terrazas on this one. Uh, she, she's a mindfulness coach here in San Antonio. She deals with um, different kinds of medicine. What, would you call it alternative medicine? Or, yeah, I mean, or I, just more of like therapy, I guess? I, honestly, uh, as a mindfulness coach, mm -hmm. I'm here to help people live a balanced life. Yeah. And before you can live a balanced life, you have to understand what balance actually means. People mm -hmm. think it's a balance of just work and play. Yeah. Uh, you understand? And there's there's so much that I can go into around the word balance and harmony. Yeah. Uh, the body is built, the vessel is, it thrives uh, under homeostasis. Like it's designed to be in a state of equilibrium. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of things that we do that end up kind of taking that off track. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and then we become imbalanced. And then the physical vessel will end up deteriorating, yeah. you know, because of the Literally. mental, yeah, your mental and emotional well-being starts to create uh, heat in the body, which it causes inflammation. Mm -hmm. And and so stress, going back to balance, being balanced, uh, we have to become very aware, self-aware of what and who is causing us a lot of stress. <laughs> yeah. Because we think it's just like part of life. Yeah, yeah. And, and so as a mindfulness coach, I want to teach people about their physiology. I want them to know about their psychology, which is why right now you'll, you're going to hear a lot about mind, body, mind, body. Mm -hmm. And going back to kind of tying it to, let's say, dental care and, yeah. and wellness, we tend to wait till things get really painful or really hard, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, you know, before we get help of any kind. And this is even with relationship stuff, mm -hmm. uh, physical ailments that we're feeling or like issues with our teeth or anything like this. Uh, we need to create a mindset and a culture of preventative, proactive, yes. healthy habits. And you said it earlier, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, people think wellness and well, wellness is just sort of like temporary and it's I, not. I think yeah. about the yeah, like wellness is health as a lifestyle. Yes. And we want people to do that on all levels. That's why we're doing this wellness live stream here at Sheba. Yeah. And at Sheba we have like three main new things that we got coming out that are specifically really cool for you guys. We have uh, the mini dental implants and that's like, actually I have a little thing right here. It's a little way that you can do like, you can replace teeth with like these tiny little implants. And then we also have, uh, we're doing a lot with sleep apnea and sleep is huge. I do a lot around the, the idea of rest because yes. that's one of my main battles in life because I always want to go, go, go and do a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. But we make ourselves so sick and we miss out on so much in life by just not being rested. And a lot of you, that's not coming from you not going to sleep. It's become, it's because when you are sleeping, you're actually not resting because you have sleep apnea. So if you notice that you're really lethargic during the day, yeah. for a lot of you, it's actually just sleep apnea, and you can get a simple appliance to, to fix that. And then we're also doing a lot with um, isogenics right now, where we're, it's something very new that we're trying to help sign up. Oh, wait, this is the isogenics one. We got it. That's why we need a whole production staff. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is the Sheba Dental brochure, also great. But the isogenics is, it's a whole nutrition thing. And I don't know if you can see that over there, Justin. You can let them see all those, all those things. We carry this full line of the isogenics products right now. Super cool stuff. Um, and it does a lot, a lot, a lot of different things. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. I'm going to go basically through some of this brochure with you. But before that, I want to go back to yeah. what you were saying. I like um, that you brought up rest. Yeah. So Kenya and I talked a lot about this. Uh, restoration, the word rest is in restoration. Mm -hmm. And as a mindfulness coach, there's the, 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 
talk sort of therapy side of things, but then there's also the body restoration that we need. And so I also do a lot of body work on people. And, you know, this the sleep apnea and us not getting really good rest, it really has a lot to do with our choices that we're making throughout the day. And when you are creating a, a wellness ritual of some kind for the mind, for the body, and when I say the heart, I mean like emotional stuff and really like taking an analysis of your relationships, like your friendships and all this, because they now know our emotional state and mental state is impacting what's called our electromagnetic biofield. And when we were talking earlier about inflammation, when we're stressed, we're in a state of contraction. And so therefore you can't get enough, you're not getting as much oxygen into your blood. And the way to do that is to learn how to breathe intentionally or to start creating less stress in your life so that you aren't in a state of contraction. So a lot of sleep issues uh, you know, also stem from unresolved mental emotional strife that maybe hasn't quite been dealt with. Yeah. Uh, it's great that they have technology now that they can help people, uh, but a lot of sleep issues, if you just resolve what's really bothering you on the inside, mm -hmm a lot of times you'll end up getting better rest because mm -hmm. your mind is not uh, yeah. giving all that energy to these issues that yeah. cause you worry and, and, you know, all the different things that we feel sometimes yeah. that are normal for us to feel, but we don't want to be in that state of emotion that's real heavy and dense mm -hmm. for long periods of time. Yes. And, and funny enough, stuff around the mouth and the throat, like TMJ, uh, a lot of throat issues, neck, head, especially headaches uh, around the back here, which all end up impeding our sleep. All of this stuff uh, comes from us not being able to honor our truth, mm -hmm. funny enough. Mm -hmm. Mental, emotional, not being able to express yourself, stifle, like keeping things down. Um, all of this, when I work on individuals, because I, I work on people's bodies, but I'm also working on them intracellularly. What are some of those that you do that? I know you with you work with people in lots of different ways. Yeah, Can you give yeah. us like a couple find of like, examples okay. of different ways in which people get yes. in their work with you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so some of my certifications that say is mindfulness based stress reduction. So through that uh, I can sit and do, through word mm -hmm. really help figure out through your non verbals and verbals mm -hmm. and kind of going into uh, just helping you discover your patterns and cycles yeah. and things that have been reoccurring in your life mm. and then start taking you into a place of accountability and responsibility. Does yeah. that make sense? Because yeah, a lot of times there are certain scenarios That's that really are cool. out of your control, but there are a lot that you think are out of your control, but they're really in your hands. Ooh. Okay, That's major. Yeah. And mindfulness is about living on purpose in the now with non-judgmentally. So it's like with intention, you're deliberately and intentionally living, not autopilot living. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. And so when you start to realize how much more in control of things you are or that you can be, mm -hmm. but it takes a matter of investigating your belief systems yeah. because what you believe to be true will then create your thoughts and create your words. And you have to be very careful because words uh, literally carry energy. Yeah. They have an, uh, they, they carry like an electrical current. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? And these, these words and these thoughts that we tell ourselves create these identities and these stories that we end up living our life by. Mm. It's crazy. So, so MBSR is so amazing. Mindfulness done, has done so much for me. It's also about learning how to be in a meditative state. And meditation isn't completely quieting the mind. You know, there's a lot of different forms of meditation. So I have a meditation instructor certification. I also am uh, certified in emotional freedom technique, which is called tapping. And you guys can Google this and learn a little bit more about it. Uh, but again, it's learning how your electrical system mm -hmm. is impacting the physical organs and the systems of the body. Mm -hmm. It is an amazing orchestra that's taking place. So. I also have my background in reflexology, mm -hmm. and I'm also a Reiki master practitioner. Mm -hmm. So are these mostly one-on-one -on -one or groups? I do groups. Okay, yeah, so okay. I, I love doing one-on-one. -on -one. It's, it's beautiful, and it's very intimate and personal, uh, and I always honor anybody that 
that goes and seeks help and that comes to me, I'm very grateful to be a part of their journey. And I feel that I'm always, a, a, I'm a student teacher all the time. Does yeah. that make sense? And I really do feel like we're all in this together. So it brings me so much joy to bring relief to somebody's mind, body, heart, soul in any way. Um, and, and there was something else that you said, though. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, just like how people can come to me. Um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. group classes. Yeah. So, uh, Justin the Change Artist, thank you so much for shooting this for us uh, right now. He's amazing. Uh, we've been bridging our expertise and passions and knowledge and understanding and life experiences. Yeah. And he's all about mind. I mind body. He's mm. also about body. And so, we uh, have been doing a lot more classes and teaching people how the body actually is functioning. And then, Justin has really beautiful... Uh, tools around neuro-linguistic programming because he's got that and and so it's teaching people how to create worlds that are actually going to benefit them as opposed to keep them in a state of pain and suffering because yeah. to be honest with you that's the true addiction we don't realize it but we're really addicted yeah. to, to to the difficulty of things you know, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and all that and, no. and we want to like free yeah. i want to free people with that Mm -hmm. That's super cool, and I, I I hope you guys took a lot of that. I hope that it uh, I hope it lands with you. I was gonna go over this a, a lot, but then I realized I, I kind of just want you guys to come in, check it out. You guys have heard of stuff like of isogenics before. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of different nutritional su supplements. Let's see, that's one that says boosts your immune system, helps your heart. A lot of this is around weight loss too, and so we really want people to focus on those types of things. And so we have free consultations in the office. Just call the uh, Shiba Dental, 210-448-1000. We actually got to go because we have another healthcare yes, facility that we have yes. to go to for something else for our own personal health. But this has been a bunch of fun. I want to show you a couple things. This is the Shiba Dental YouTube page. Go check that out and subscribe. Yes. Janie Tarazas, you can find her. Yes, go to my website, JanieTarazas.com, and you can get your own copy of the Seven Positive Daily Habits. Be mm -hmm. mindful, know thyself, love thyself. Super. Oh, no, no, not, not yet. And then I just want to show you the front desk so you can see when you come in. It's going to be very welcoming, super fun. Tiffany's hiding. Everyone's hiding, but usually they're up here to greet you when you get in here. And uh, it's it's uh, it's a super, really great office. You see we got juice boxes out here. I think this one was mine. But we have juice boxes for the kids in the refrigerator. Um, so thank you guys so much. I think we're going to try to do a couple of these wellness things. And we want to see your questions. What are some things that you're dealing with? How can we make it, um, uh, how can we address those issues? Uh, check you guys later. See ya.